Hi all, today we will see the example to load the data from SQL Server database to the combo box with unbounded connection and after it uh, we will store the author ID by selecting author name from our GUI okay so let's start uh, first we load the value from the table to combo box and for it I am going to create one method name public void cmb display and in that going to fire a query it's a sorry take one variable and store the query in that variable let's just select both a name comma author id from author table take a sql command for execution of query provide the query and connection string we will take a sql data reader to read the records make it object equals to cmd will execute the query with the help of execute reader method and we will check that dr founds or dr read any rows or not okay if dr will read the rows then we will store the values to the combo box that's why combo box one dot items dot add and in that dr with the field which you want to display it's a author name then we have to provide the display member as well the value members to the combo box so the display member will be the author name and the value members is a author id okay so it's done now I'm, we are using the connected architecture so we have to open the connection and also close it so now you can run your web uh, sorry windows form and you can see that from the author table you should have this author name okay we have created this method so we have to call it in a form load event so call this method now you you will run it so the value from the database to the combo box is loaded now now when you will select this value when you when you will select this value its id will be stored in particular variable so first we need to fire an event called selected index change of combo box in that we will fire the query it's select author id from author table where 
author name equals to where get type that's why we will take a single double plus and combo box one dot selected item now the same process we will follow because we are using the connected architecture provide the query to command and reader will execute it if reader can read the record then right now uh, we will use this text box for just display the id text box one dot text equals to dr of zero dot to string we have to convert it in a string because the text box accept the string value that's why now run it when you will select the author its id will be displayed here suppose i am going to select j author its id will be stored here so we won't, don't want to display it in text box so we just uh, store this in a particular variable so i have declared it aid variable and uh, i'm going to store this id in a id variable and now last uh, we will fire the insert query to store the records in book details table insert into book underscore details write down the name of the fields so first one here the book id is auto generate so i'm going to start with the book name comma book description comma price and last one is author values keyword okay so let's start with the book name is a worker type that's why single double plus will be used and text box one dot text comma same with book description it has a text box 2 and price has a worker type so we will take a double plus and text box 3 dot text and last one author we have stored author id in a a id variable so i'm going to take a a id but it has a integer type so we will take a double plus and a id okay so it's over here now execute this query take a sql command create create the object of command provide the query and connection string and cmd will execute this query with the help of execute non query method okay so now you can run the application suppose book name is java description testing prices suppose 400 and author is any click on add button okay i think record is inserted i forgot to give the message box here the message box dot show it's inserted now run this A 
as p book name you can create the web applications price and the author okay the record is inserted and now just visit a table once Okay, so you can see that uh, for book ID, it's auto generate field, ASP.NET, web application, it's a prize and author too. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe.